Yo, 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 what's good, everybody? It's your boy 005 Dynasty. And it's been a minute, but I'm back. I'm inside my YouTube studio right now. I just want to talk to the people really quick, whoever, you know, wants to, you know, come through and just listen to me ramble, I guess. <laughs> Let me stop playing. But anyway, so I want to give a shout out to everybody who has supported me at, at any point in time. Really appreciate you guys and girls. I wanted to show you something pretty cool. They got a new tab that says community tab inside of YouTube studio. So head over here, right? And I'm in the community tab. And when you scroll down to the bottom, it actually gives community spotlights and lets you know the people who have been supporting your channel, which I think is pretty, pretty cool, man. Pretty dope, actually. So you get to see the people who've posted recently or whatever, or like your top posters or... Yeah, I guess your top your top commenters on your channel. I scrolled over and I saw Assault Music Production was one of them. Dropped like 81 comments. I'm like, damn, I didn't even know. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it go by so fast, you know, but he's probably been subscribed for a long time. So I want to give a shout out to Assault Music Production. Appreciate that. He's actually the first person who went and registered to old5dynasty.com as well. You know what I'm saying? So that's pretty cool. I actually gave him a, a, a lifetime a premium membership for that too. Cause I really appreciate him going and, and, and doing that and believing in my in my platform. Which I cut I stopped designing as of lately because so many toxic and nasty people don't deserve a platform like that to, to help promote them to get their content out there. But we'll we'll see. Maybe I'll bring it back in the future. But anyway, so I went to Assault Music Productions YouTube channel. Cause I haven't been there in a while. You know, I I'm never going to lie to you guys and girls, man. Like, I stopped doing a whole YouTube thing like that, you know? I just been posting stuff about what I've been doing, you know? But I went there and I listened to one of his beats, you know? I always like his production, though. He he, he, he has a different way of doing it, and I, I respect that. It's, you know, you got to respect the creativity, you know? So, and I went and listened to one of his beats, his latest beat, and it was dope. It was dope. You know, what I liked about it was it had, like, a kick drum, but the, like the kick drum would change a little bit, right? So it changed the feel. But then the bass line was the same thing. The bass line would play, then it would change a little bit. So I thought it was really dope. So when I'm listening to it, though, the only thing that didn't change along with the kick drum and the bass line was the snare. And I, you know, that's one of the tricks that I had for many, many years ago, maybe like 20 years ago. Like I made a track, whereas the track changed every four bars. So when like when like the bass line changed or like the kick drum changed a little bit, maybe the pattern changed a little bit, the snare changed a little bit. Maybe I, I pulled in a different type of snare. So when I'm listening to his beat, I was like, it'd have been cool if he would have, since the bass line, the kick drum was changing, as if the snare would have changed also to 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 further immerse the listener into like that vibe. So dope track. And the reason why I'm doing this video is because I wanted to say this. I've noticed that about a lot of musical producers, no, it doesn't matter their talent level. I mean, it doesn't matter their talent level. It doesn't matter if it's the top producer in the game right now or it's the top producer 10 years ago. A lot of producers, what happens is, is that their ear, their ear finds that number one ear candy, like that sound that's so dope, and then it locks into that. It locks into it. And when it locks into it, now you just listen to it because now it feels good. And you you get stuck on, on not moving further in the production. And, you know, I don't think it's a bad thing. I don't think it's a bad thing. I just think it's just missed opportunities. And what I've done recently was I've literally started making a beat. And on purpose, I will not finish the whole track. On purpose, what I will do is I'll do the beat, then I'll put it on Dropbox or something, then I'll bring it in the car, and I'll listen to the beat. I'll listen to the beat for like a month. Like a month. Like, it's, it's, it's like I don't, I'm, I'm not in no rush for nothing. I'm not in a rush for no dollar bill at all. At all. No clout, no fame, no nothing. If it comes, it comes. But I'll listen to it. And then as I'm listening to it, I'm like, dun, 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 whatever it is, I'm like, oh, I could put this here, I could put this here, I could put that there. You know what I'm saying? Write it down. Put or put it, make a mental note of it. 
And then when I get back in the car or whatever, or I got some downtime, put the beat on again, start listening to it, and then I try to remember what I'll try to remember the extra stuff I wanted to add to it, the, the tricks and stuff like that, or just to, to make it fatter, fuller. Or bring emotion into it I try to see if I can remember it Then if I can remember it That means it was good to begin with And then on top of that What I'll try to do is Put it down And then come back Maybe a day or two later And let's do it again And just be like Okay now let's see What I can, what more can I add to it And it doesn't mean That you have to add a bunch You don't have to add a bunch But what I'm trying to get to Is it's like Is, is your beats is, are your beats like a, like a story? Is it like a film? Is it is it does is it telling something? Is it making make the people move? You know you know almost every beat you can do that. You can do that. So when I'm listening to his beat, I'm like what I'm doing is I'm acting as if I'm him, and it's been a couple days later. And now I'm, I'm listening to to the beat again, and I'm saying, oh, oh, what can I, have, what could I have done differently? Now, now you see, I was able to give him a, uh, you know, what I'm saying, I, I even wrote the comment on his channel. I was even able to give him the trick, the, the tip. You know, what I'm saying the tip or the trick. Now it's up to him to to use it or not, but he doesn't have to. But maybe in the future, what what happen is he might think like, oh, let me, uh, what what old five dynasty said the last time. Now it starts to spark something in him that he could do more than just let that same snare rock throughout the whole track. And don't get me wrong, man. I got tra- sorry about that. That alarm's going off. I got tracks right now that the snare's going the same throughout, the same throughout. But you have to understand something though. Some tracks are meant for that. Like the reason why the reason why his beat. Felt that the snare should have a difference of you know timbre, you know if you know what timbre is like the, the sound like the tone. When the bass comes in, it's because the way he manipulated the bass and the kick. So what happens is, is that you when you start doing things like that, changing those types of elements, you need to dive in fully with it. You because when you dive in fully with it. You really immerse the listener into that sound, man. That's the point that I'll be trying to get, especially when you create an original. And I hope I hope you are creating original so you can do this type of stuff. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. It's kind of crazy, guys and girls, man. Like, I love music production. You know, I, I was doing it for like, I want to say... When I started, 2003, and I stopped in like 2007, 2000, right? 2007 ish, something like that. So I was only doing it for a few years, a couple years, right? And then I had, I left, I, I left the game. I stopped making sample beats. I came back in 2018, and then when I came back in 2018, I wasn't technically making beats at that time. I was just trying to figure out the equipment that I was that I purchased. So I would mess around and try to make a track, but I didn't even know how to use the NPC and stuff like that when I got it. So I di- I dibbled and dabbled in music production. I have not been doing music production for like the last 20 years or so. You know, that has not been the case for me. A lot of people, they have, not for me, okay? But with that being said, what I'm trying to say is, when, when you start to get to the point where your mind starts to understand music, music and also starts to understand emotions and feelings, there's so much you can do with your instrumentals that can have it go to like, wow. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like uh, musical producers are missing that. I feel like they are missing that. I feel like they are. I feel like they are. And you know what I think they need to do? Get away from what, uh, what what everybody's telling them. Don't follow. Don't follow. You know, Dilla. Don't follow. Don't follow Dilla. Don't follow Just Blaze. Don't follow Knife Wonder. Don't follow DJ Premier. Eat Nass. Don't follow, don't follow all these producers. Stop going on YouTube and following them. They have their own way. And, you know, and a lot of times when you listen to their production, their production, they get stuck, man. They get their, their production is very, it's, it's to a certain point. 
this you could go beyond this point that I'm talking about if you really immerse yourself into music and stop and then also stops rushing your, your projects out there. Don't rush your music out there. You don't have to rush your music out. Take that time, man. To the people are always gonna be there, man. If you put out that quality product, they're gonna be there. You know? Check take the YouTube channels. There's some YouTube channels. They upload like a uh, hundred, uh, maybe like I won't say hundred. They probably uploaded like twenty videos, and they got over like a million views. And take my YouTube channel. I uploaded like almost nine hundred videos, and I got less than a hundred thousand views. It's because you gotta, you gotta. If you take the time and you put the the quality, the I'm talking about the quality of work into your production, and, and it's undeniable, undeniably just amazing. Like a, a film producer can sink their their teeth into it and put it into one of their blockbuster films, like that type of stuff. This, this, the sky's the limit, man. You'll be you'll you shoot you like you you shoot off like a shooting star, man. So take your time with the music production, guys and girls. Do not rush it out for these YouTube subscribers. They're gonna be there. They don't even care if you upload or not, man. To be honest with you, a lot of them. They like for like, comment for comment, sub for subs, subscribe for subscribe, share for share, individuals anyway, man. And you know it, and I know it. So it's better to go out there and start building a catalog. Make your beats for your catalog. We don't need for you to flood YouTube. No, build a catalog of beats and, and get those beats stemmed out so that... They're ready for syncing, for sync licensing, for film, TV, video games, stuff like that. Do that. That's more. That's more impressive. That is more like a, like a, a body of work. When you can show a body of work like that, you'll be better off, man. And then get ready to get, get your stuff out there professionally instead of just always thinking about YouTube and rushing it. And really dive into your tracks, man. If you change it, you don't change the timbre, tempo. You changing the key and this and that. But then you need to, you need to do all the sounds that way. You know what I'm saying? You need to really like if this part of the chorus sounds like this. All those sounds need to get in there and man, make that chorus come alive. I got the track. Hey, do you want my dudes? The hammer's gonna bang at you. Hey, do you want my dudes? That's a reflection of you. That song has not been recorded yet, and I know the whole song by heart because I'm taking my time. I'm trying to perfect my voice, number one, so I can sing the chorus the proper way. I'm also um, listening to the beat so I can add the trumpets in there the proper way. I want those cinematic trumpets in there. Then I want more piano in there. I want, I want more strings in there. High string. I want strings that play like a progression. I want strings that act like a drone, like a pad sending under. I want to drop sounds in and out. I want to bring sounds in. I want to change up the drum pattern from the chorus to the verse. I want to do so much with it. I'm, this is all the stuff that's in my head. I'm also thinking about buying uh, a harmonizer, a real, a real like hardware harmonizer, so that when I do the chorus, I can get those, I can get those other frequencies to go, like the high and the low frequencies to sit, to sit with my frequency. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't have a singer. I don't have like an R&B singer right sitting right here that's going to record a song. You know what I'm saying? I'm and I'm going to do the song myself. I don't want to pay anybody either. I want to do the record myself. So I get a harmonizer machine. You know what I'm saying? Outboard gear. That I could do the chorus like legit, have all the frequencies there. Um, this is the type of stuff that I'm thinking about for the record. I could I could have been recording a record and put it out the way it is right now. And, you know, people say, people going to hit me in the comments. Yeah, this is dope. This is dope. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, yeah. It's, no, it's not. It's not. It's not epic. It's not. It's not something that you could play 30 years from now, 40 years now, 50 years from now. But like, yeah, this is still a hit. You put on a Bob, you put on a Bob Marley record 20, uh, 20, 40, 60, 100 years from now, people gonna be like, yo, dude, this is fire, you know what I'm saying? And timeless music. You wanna be able to make timeless music, not just throwing out stuff that's like that just that's just gonna go away in like a couple days. After they hear it, they, they make a comment on it, and then that's it. No, there's no more. No. I want when somebody hear it, they be like, yo. Like, yo, you heard that? Like, yo, yo, yo. That's what I'm talking about. But anyway, this your boy, 005 Dynasty. 
I want to give a shout out again to Assault Music Production. Go check him out. Listen to his latest joint. And yeah, I'm pretty much just going to get up out of here, man. Had to go make some make some bread today. You know, I'm always trying to make that money. Even though I'm not about money, but I still got to support my, my family. So I'm going to make that bread. And that's, that's it, man. Give a shout out to everybody who rock with me. Give a shout out to my haters, too. Keep hating. <laughs> nothing, nothing I, I can't do nothing about that I can't change that You can't change people's minds People, A lot of people's minds is laws They're weirdos man But it is what it is This your boy 005 Dynasty Google me